after Survivor Series, CM Punk went out in the media talking about Rock not shaking hands. Do you think he was working an angle? And what was Rocky like backstage for the show? Do you remember any of this uh, going on? I, I, so I, I do not remember. Uh, I wasn't that high up yet. Um, I probably I don't remember what sh- matches were on that show, but I probably had like the Santino Morella or something like that, um, which I love, by the way. He was my Comedy. favorite wrestler. He was my favorite wrestler for like a decade. Mm-hmm. Uh, Every, everything you gave him. Like, <laughs> you give him the stupidest <laughs> idea in the world, and they make it gold on TV. And anyway, yeah, I'll never forget when he, uh, anyway. What were we talking about? <laughs> Like rock those, shaking oh, hands rocking, or rocking, not yeah. shaking hands I don't, and I don't know, CM Punk know, causing a little stir. Look, look it's so, so Punk, I believe Punk was two, two things. Going into business for himself in a good way, like starting Making conversation. And and it was basically starting a conversation with the uh, grassroots wrestling fan of this big Hollywood guy went away and now he's coming back and they want me, the workhorse, to wrestle him. And uh, you know what I mean? And so it was it was uh, the plumber versus the, the movie star. Um, and so he needed, to, he needed to say like, hey, he wouldn't shake my hand. He needed something. The story needed something. And so whether that was true or not, I liked it. I thought it made something there uh, where there might not have been otherwise. And look, Punk is a guy that will cause trouble. He will say things to r- wrinkle your feathers, and he's done me that way. And they always say, well, you know, let anybody push your buttons unless you let them, you know. And I, I agree with that. I'm, I let him. Um, but, but he can do that. So I can understand how Rock being a little standoffish and punk being a little, I guess standoffish is a nice way to put it too. I can understand there being frustrations putting that stuff together. We're back with your yeah. questions. Johnny K99 wants to know, did you ever have any talent come up to you and yell in your face? No, <laughs> but I, I do have, and this is like we're on the on that story. I do have a, uh, how much time do we have here? So I got a minute. Uh, Me and CM Punk almost went to blows when I was a producer on a live event. uh, And we had to get called into Vince's office at TV and and make nice and shake hands. Um, So that's, look, that's some of the, like, I I don't know. I never never thought Punk was what Punk was. But again, I know he is what he is. (laughs) I know he's hugely successful in this industry and over. I give him all the credit in the world. I just didn't get it. Uh, I see it now. I still don't get it, but I see it. So I know it's true, but me and him didn't see eye to eye early on about, he was the champion at the time. Um, and it was about like how he was carrying himself as the champion. And I had a discussion with him that he obviously didn't, didn't like being talked to that way. And so the next time I saw him, it was, uh, it was not yelling in my face, but it was, well, I was yelling in his face. <laughs> I'll put it at that. He was a lot more professional and calm than I was at the time. Uh, Johnny K99 also wanted to put over the hashtag, can't you hear that fizzle sizzle? Ooh, I don't Mike even know what that Rummins means. Mike Rummins asks, <laughs> did Road Dog have any reservations about how the crowd would respond, and how long did that high last when you came back into the locker room following the appearance in the Yeah, Rumble? look, I, the, the high was literally a high because I was lacking oxygen. So <laughs> I, I went to the, straight to the back and laid down on the ground. Um, but yeah, no, look, the high lasted. It, my in, endorphins and that, and that adrenaline got me through all of it. So uh, so it, the high was pretty good. Um, but yeah, it was just, I was really blown up. 